What is going on guys? It is crawfish time. Crawfish, crayfish, crawdads, yabbies, however you say it, it is crawfish time. Look, I just saw right there actually a trout jump. We are also trout fishing today, but first this morning we're gonna do it a little bit different. What I normally do in all my videos is I'll uh, fish for trout first, and then I, uh, I try to catch some crawdads to kind of add to it. And today what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start off this morning, we're gonna try to catch a whole bunch of crawdads, and then I'm gonna go to some of my favorite uh, fishing spots, and we're gonna use the crawdads as bait. So first we're gonna catch some crawdads, we're gonna do a crawdad boil, then we're gonna do a trout fishing. Should be a great day, it is, it is gorgeous, it's gonna get hot today, gonna get like in the 90s. Uh, it's, 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 this is, it doesn't get any better as far as summertime fishing goes. Let's catch some craws. Flipping over rocks, you're kind of stirring everything up, and they'll come out of the woodwork. You'll, you'll miss a lot. tons but almost every single one of them is a really really good size so we have one two three four five six seven eight not too bad not too bad I mean look at the we're gonna be able to get claw meat and body meat off that dude whoa yeah I flipped over this huge rock huge crawfish look at that bad boy it's got some blue on him too that's the biggest craw of the day right there in the really really shallow spot too there's one oh it's a soft one. Oh, he's soft and squishy he just molded his skin or his uh his shell this will probably be the one we use for bait since he's so squishy in fact this guy could pinch me and it wouldn't hurt i'm sure i'm gonna let him get me come on oh okay well never mind that actually does <laughs> his claws are still hard have you guys found anything yet? No. no? Would you like a crawdad? I found it. Oh, Look. We, your friends did find one of those earlier. Yeah. I'll set them right there and you guys can play with them if you want. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Check this out. This will probably be a piece of bait as well. Guys, this is crazy. Just, I just walked over to this new spot, found this leech. It looks like a big, 
grub right now. He's all curled up. But we're gonna put this, we're gonna pause the crawdad hunt and we're gonna put this on hook. We're gonna see if we can catch a trout on this. All right, one leech going out. Or grub, whatever that thing, larva. I don't know. It's good bait no matter what. Well guys, nothing on the grub for now. I fish this whole area very thoroughly. Um, so what we're gonna do is, it's still on. I got that one small bite. The grub is still on though. So we're just gonna save it and I'm gonna go back to hunting crawdads, which is my first plan. So we're gonna gather some of those and then we'll focus on the trout fishing in just a little bit. Try under this rock for real this time. We know there's at least one. Um, oh, there's another one. And I think there might, someone will grab, oops. Look at him go. Hey, you, whoa. Oops, he's getting away. Some of these are more feisty than other ones. Got him. Oh, he's almost got me. And some more more flexible too. Like someone can really reach behind him. Now, I thought I saw one in this hole. Ouch, he got me, yep. There's one buried, <laughs> he pinched me. Oh, look at it, oh, it's a big one. Guys, are you seeing that? Look how big this crawdad is. Buried in the hole, got him. Dude, that's a mon, look how big. I thought this was a good size. Check out that big bad. He's literally down in a hole underneath this massive rock. That is so cool. This is the biggest one of the day. <laughs> that, that's the, that might be like biggest crawdad of the year so far. All right, this is cool. All right, my friends, it is trout fishing time. I have on there that little tiny uh, grub from earlier, the, the leech. You know, it, I don't know if that was a leech or a grub. Anyway, it was, uh, I have that piece on. We're gonna just gonna try throwing that out. It's still soft and supple. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna use that. Guys, I see a couple of trout sitting right down here. And it's a little sight fish in action. Guys, these trout are not interested in this grub. I don't know why, but they just aren't. So let's put on a piece of crawdad. All right, we're gonna set him right there. We're gonna kill him real quick. Right, he's dead. We're just going to peel him. Like so. And we gotta get that meat that's inside the tail. It's actually harder to remove when it's not cooked because the meat is still sticking to the sides. If I may be so bold, I think I'm gonna make a little prediction that uh, we're gonna get a trout on the first cast. <laughs> Got one, guys. Oh, it's a good one, too. It's a good one. Oh, there's a, there's another big one following it, but it is a decent fish. Not the first cast. Wait, what is this? It's a pike minnow. Or a squaw fish. Dang it. That's not what we're looking for. At least we got him out of the river, though. I used to live in an area that was taken over by these fish. We literally caught one bass the entire year and a half that we lived at this house, because these fish had eaten up all the game fish in the area. And he has something in his mouth. What does he have in his mouth? He has another fish, guys, in his throat. Oh, he just finished swallowing it. He has another fish in his throat. That is crazy. We're gonna kill him real quick. There we go. You know, oh, guys, guys, I just thought of what we're gonna do this. We're either, all right, there are two things that just came to mind. We're either gonna use this guy for bait for crawfish in the next video, or we're gonna see if a mink wants him. You know, one of the, if you guys remember that episode where I had a mink come and visit me on this river, let's, uh, yeah, we're gonna save this guy. A mink might come and, and eat him. All right, guys, I'm kind of sight fish for him because what there is, see, see the sand right down there? I can see the, the dark of the trout against the sand very, very easily. So we'll just cast up river, let it drift down in that area. Got one, got one. Ah, oh, it's a little tyke. Wait, what? Guys, another pike minnow. 
or squawfish. Dang it. What is with this? And he stole my crawdad. All right, so we killed that squawfish as well. There are uh, starting to get a lot of people on the river. Hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing. Usually it doesn't. Here's another little crawdad morsel. Got one. It's better not be. It's another pike minnow, guys. Oh, this fish. Oh, he's spitting up fish everywhere. He's literally been eating fish. He just spit up a fish's body. A mangled fish's body. Guys, that's why we have to get rid of these, because they eat all the game fish in a river system. All right, guys. We came to this new spot here. Look, there's an underwater pipe, and it gets really deep right behind it. And I've got it back to the piece of crawdad. It's got a piece of crawdad on there. Let's get a trout. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, guys. Guys, huge, huge steelhead. Huge steelhead right here. Guys, there's a huge steelhead right down there. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. Guys, it had red on the sides and everything. Hello. Uh huh. Hello. Oh, where are you in What's here? your name? I'm filming a video actually right now. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Caleb. Caleb, all right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've seen you a couple of times on Eagle catching crawfish. Okay, yeah. You know, I have a whole bunch of crawfish right now actually. I'm just trying to catch a trout actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I just saw there's a giant one hanging around down here. It's but like uh, a it's like a, it's a steelhead. That's a size uh huh. Yeah, that was. I had a really good. I found a good spot. You'll see it in a video. Uh -huh. Man, I was just plucking the big ones. It was yeah. really cool. Good luck. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, thanks thanks for awesome. stopping. <laughs> Which videos are your favorite? Um, if you get the definitely the catch and cooks are awesome. Okay. Any specific catch and cook where it's like, oh, I just I just click on a trout one every time or, yeah, or trout ones and are awesome. those are the favorite. Okay, yeah. cool. I'll make yeah. more of those. Hey, thanks, man. Have a good day. Well, guys, nothing at that spot. Saw some big trout, but couldn't get even to bite. Move on to the next spot. All right, piece of crawdad on. Let's get a trout. Where's dinner for fellas? Hey, I watch the video. Oh, thanks. Hey. Guys, we got more, more subscribers right behind. He's fishing. And there are four dudes in a boat. And uh, leave a comment down below if you're watching this now. Anyway, let's get a trout on this piece, whoa, piece of crawdad right there. Almost in my mouth. <gasps> guys, guys, we have a mink. He's trying to get, he's trying to get my food. Look at him, he's cute. There's so many, look, he's trying to grab my bag. Let's feed him. That's why I saved those fish. I thought just in case a mink comes along, we'll feed him. So we have a fish. We're just gonna lay the fish right there. I'm gonna set up the camera and then walk away so he comes back. All right, so we have this little squawfish. We're gonna lay him right there. And uh, then I'm gonna walk away from the camera. That was cool. That was so cool. Oh, look, there he goes. He's, he's going down. Boy, he is running. And down the bank he goes. All the way back to his home. <laughs> Guys, when the going gets tough, the tough use night crawlers, it has been the weirdest thing the last hour and a half. 
I thought that it would be easy. I thought those chunks of crawdads would be dynamite and I would have at least four or five trout right now. So I was, I've been sitting here thinking about it while I've been fishing. I, I see the trout down there, they look at it and they just swim away. They, they're not interested at all. And I thought, what is going on here? By the way, I have a worm there. Let's get this worm down there. But the only thing that I can think of is I wonder if, I have never used crawdads this early in the year. And I wonder if there's a chemical or something on them that repels the trout. That I, I'll bet it's drifted in front of at least 30 trout over the last hour and a half and all of them have ignored it. So there must be a chemical or a taste or something in the crawdads that is causing them to not eat it. That's the only theory I have. Back at this spot where I saw some big trout earlier. With, only this time we have worms instead of crawls, so. Got one, got one. Yes. Oh, it's a brown trout. I have not caught a brown. You know, I think all last year I did not catch a brown trout. Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know what? Oh, it's gorgeous. I think I've let this one go. Guys, I think we're in an area. Gosh, I need to know my regulations better. I think we're in an area where the trout have to be 14 inches or bigger. This guy's only about 11 inches. Look at that. First brown trout of the year, baby. Oh, guys, this is so much fun. I mean, so, so much fun. Got him. Yes. Is this, what is, is this another brown trout? I think it's, another, it's a brown trout again, but I think it's too small. That is cool though. That is crazy cool. Not a keeper again. About 12 inches this time. But that is so cool. Oh guys, that was cool. Man, I need a keeper. But this is so still so fun. <laughs> well guys, check this little spot out. I've got my own like little spot here. So this is a funny story. Ever since I was little, I wanted to come over. I would fish on the other side. And I wanted to come over and fish this spot. Because the current goes right by and it's deep and swirling right down there. And when I've snorkeled, I've seen fish. But I've never done it. All the years I've been I've been coming here. And uh, so I, I got on this path, followed this path for a long ways. But then the last hundred yards was like across this golf course. So I just strolled across the golf course and I went through poison ivy, poison oak, all kinds of, I don't even know what, because uh, there was this wall of it. So I had to try to carefully get through. I still got you know, some on me, so I'm gonna take a swim now, try to wash off the poison ivy, and we're gonna cook up some crawdads and do just a little bit more fishing. This is so cool. I've got here all my catch and cook stuff set up. We have a pot and then, well, I'll show you guys all the ingredients in a second, but first, let's get the crawdads boiling. And while the crawdads are boiling, I'm actually gonna fish one more time. See if we can get a, get a keeper trout. Fill up with some river water. Just like so. While we're waiting for the water to boil, let's flip out a little worm here. Come on, I need that keeper. Got him, got him. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think we got a keeper, guys. That guy's close. He's very, very close. I mean, I'm trying to use circle hooks so they can't swallow and he has it way down there. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, well, he seems fine. Actually, nope, he's sitting there. He's floating. Guys, we got a floater. What the what? Oh, man, that was so close. Guys, I'm afraid that might have been just short anyway of the 14 inch mark. Probably about 13 inches. I just ca I caught so many after a while, you kind of know. All right, so our water is boiling. We're gonna add the classic Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Add some salt. If you guys have watched my channel, you know the drill here. And you gotta add lots of salt to really flavor those crustaceans. And then we have something here, guys. This is brand new. I got this 
at, actually no, somebody else got this. It was in our pantry. Look at it, it has, it's, full, it's a bag full of spices. Here's the problem. Look how big the bag is. Like, I feel like this was made for something much bigger, I think. We're gonna drop that in there just to see how it tastes. This will be kind of the test. And I know that <laughs> that is made for a, more crawdads and a bigger pot, but we're gonna go for it. Just, this will be the test run. <coughs> I think I should probably let this thing cook. <coughs> oh man, spices are <coughs> get <coughs> in my nose. I think we should let this thing cook for a while. Or let the, let the <coughs> seasonings get in the water. While we're waiting for that seasoning packet to finish boiling, let's throw in one more time. Come on, come on, big trout. Got him, got him. Oh, guys, it's a big one, it's a big one, it's a big one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's a big one. Oh, guys, guys, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what's oh, a rainbow? Huge rainbow. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Finally. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> look at this huge, beautiful rainbow trout. That is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? I'm gonna bleed them real fast. We're gonna knock them on the head. And then using a knife sent to me by one of you guys, I'm going to cut the gills. Right here. Whew, that's sharp. John, I think it was John, can't remember your last name, but one of my subscribers sent me that knife. We're gonna bleed this trout right here. Oh guys, it's gonna taste so good with the crawdads. So right over here, we have this nice big board that I'm gonna use to fillet the trout on. Just worked out that way, did not plan on this but it's perfect. <laughs> We're just gonna do a simple gut on this dude. Guys, one of the reasons why I love trout so much is of how, how simple they are. You don't even have to scale them because you don't taste the scales. And I don't fillet them or anything fancy because the meat comes away from the bone as you're, you're eating it. You can just pull all the bones out, no problem. Oh, this was a female, not a recent. She's gonna, she had eggs in her for next year or ne probably in the fall actually um but uh definitely a female and look the meat is orange on it that's cool oh that is good crawdad bait right there we'll throw that out there the crawdads will love that look at these guys look look at look how dark the water is and look at how the crawdads aren't that usual like bright uh bright red color i think because of the seasoning like the water is like almost black with seasoning, so these will pro these might be some of the best crawfish I've ever had here. These are gonna be spicy too. Oh man, I got the biggest, I cooked the biggest ones first. That water is black. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be delicious. You know what, guys, we have a small problem actually. So, we got the crawdads boiled. I wanna boil some other ones, but this propane tank right here is almost out. So I need actually conserve the energy of that thing. And I'm gonna have to cook the trout now because that is getting very, very low. And hopefully we have enough power to cook the trout. First we add butter, generous amount. Then we're gonna add salt to the bottom. And we're gonna put the trout filet, ah, just like that. Some more butter on this side and the other trout filet. I actually put them back in their juices. I took them out, then I put them right back in. I was like, what am I doing? I need, uh, want those to soak up as much of the seasoning as possible. And then guys, we have something that is very cool. In this bag is my very own Cajun seasoning. I've been experimenting around with different Cajun seasonings. If you guys are members of the channel, you guys already know that. Anyway, this is my own Cajun uh, mix that I'm, I'm experimenting around with, trying to perfect it. And uh, hopefully today, hopefully this is the, the key one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully this is the one that I'm gonna package, try to package and sell on my channel. But I gotta taste it first, gotta get it just right. Just gonna sprinkle well over the trout. Mm. And we are gonna add some don't want to go whoa, too crazy to the inside of the fish. Whoa, good grief, got it. <laughs> it's hard to add it to the Ziploc bag. Got to spread it around. These are going to be very spicy 
Cajun y trout. While we wait for <coughs> spices, <coughs> guys, a lot of Cajun spicy going on here. It's, it's in the air, the seasonings are in the air. But, <coughs> good, <coughs> wow. Anyway, while the trout is cooking, we're gonna do giveaway time. You guys, I'm giving away one of my necklaces here. My uh, fish hook necklaces. If you guys want, all you have to do is comment down below. But we had to like the video first. Comment down below. I pick somebody randomly from the comment section. That's all you have to do. If it is a girl, because I have mostly guys I've watched my channel, and then lately it's been I'm getting more and more. I just see the comments. Just see. I actually met a girl subscriber the other day when I was out on the river, and so um, I thought, you know what? I need to do something in case there are any ladies who win. Look at that. I got this in Hawaii actually um, it's a little I thought it was cute I don't know I'm a guy maybe it was poor choice but anyway if it's a <coughs> girl who wins you will win this if it's a dude you get to win one of the shark hook necklaces or if it's a girl and you want it you'd rather have the, the the old Hawaii hook necklace you can have that as well anyway just comment down below leave a like on the video and then guys to make the giveaway um, go on longer I'm actually gonna do three giveaways one within the first week a second one, once the video reaches, say, 7,000 likes, I think it's a pretty good amount, but that's not that's not quite all my subscribers. So if you're watching this video and it's older, yeah, 7,000 subscribers, and once the video, if the video reaches 14,000 subscribers, I'll do a third giveaway. So be watching for me to pin your comment to the top, and you guys will win. Um, win. So there's a triple giveaway in this in this video. So that way, even if you're watching it months after it's been published, you guys still have a chance. So comment down below and leave a like on the video. I'll show you guys this in a second. Whew, guys, while I was doing the giveaway, almost uh, almost burned my fish there. Just started on the edge there, but it's looking good. And I'm just gonna add the crawfish right on. Oh, what a scrumptious little meal. River food, it does not get any better than that, guys, right there. Ah, let say a prayer for this incredibly blessed day. I just, man, I have this river right here. It runs right through the city. A lot of places I go, I, I love traveling, I love going up in the mountains and all that stuff, but, oh, this is just, this has been such a great day. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, get cracking. Let me get closer here. Well, without tipping my food over. Check that big crawdad. Guys, I got some big crawdads today. I mean, some monsters. Just peel the tail like so, and then twist the tail. Oh, I, to I, to I said this once before, I'll say it again. They should have crawfish nuggets at McDonald's. I'm telling you. I mean, look at that. Can you imagine having crawfish nuggets? Mmm. Wow. Those are spicy. That is so good, though. Some people say suck the head of it. Um, I don't even know how to, what, like... Like, there's a lot of spice. <coughs> there's a lot of... Is that how you... <coughs> Man. There's a lot of spice. Yeah, so if that's your thing, I see why people do that, actually. That's actually not too bad. That's actually, that's the first time I've done that. Interesting. All right, let's try this trout here. You know, before we try the trout, I want to do something. I want to show you guys some art, literally. This is from Connor Todd. He sent me this. Check that out. We got a little uh, uh, fishing pole action. That looks like a trout on that side. And then on the other side, we have, that looks like a bass there and Connor sent me a really nice note which I'll keep between he and I and he also sent this homemade spinner right there oops I'm dropping stuff anyway thank you so much Connor I will put that in my tackle box and then this is my favorite right here so this is from Jason um, from Jason he says he really likes that he's 13 years old check out that artwork there my friends crawdad I thought it was appropriate for the day Jason, that is a fantastic crawdad, but this is the P.S. de la Resistance. Look, it's me. I want you guys to observe the washboard abs right here. And then we have the sculpted pecs, the bulging biceps. I mean, this, look, I am, I am ripped. I'm really digging the, the, the washboard here. And we got my GoPro, we got the backpack. 
what a great picture. This is going up in front of my desk there. That ab part, we'll just use that for motivation. I like this a lot. Thank you so much, Jason and Connor. The moment of truth. I, did I perfect my Cajun spice recipe? Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do before I say one way or the other? Let me take a few bites here. Guys, I would like to give a shout out to my mom who helped me with it because I I had the Cajun recipe and I was like, it's just lacking that certain, that punch. And she gave me a suggestion on what ingredient I should add. Guys, I think I got a Cajun recipe too. When it comes out, I'll let you guys know. I'll put links to it in the description. That is really, really good with Red River Crawfish. Look at that sunset. This is so much fun coming out here. You just got to come out and you never know. Some days are better than others. Some days you'll fish, you know, won't catch much. And then other days it will be just like this. That gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Riverside dinner. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, enter the giveaway, leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.